gracias. Vlogmas day 14. Is my camera smudged? I have to put my ones. No, don't leave. Don't leave, Petra. Anyway, good morning. It's about 10 o'clock. I edited a vlog, yesterday's vlog. Put that up. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Some computer things this morning, which I meant to do yesterday, but I just remember what it was that I needed to do but I did it today and now it's pretty early it's 10 o'clock like I said so what does that mean guys that means I get to do my ultimate self-care day which I'm so excited about so is Petra and it's starting by taking a little lay down after editing and I had two cookies so far for breakfast <laughs> and now I'm cuddling with Petra I'm going to go make breakfast I'm gonna have a really yummy breakfast I was craving like a this egg breakfast my mom would always make me with like jalapenos onions tomatoes I don't make it often though because it's like you have to chop so much veggie veggies, but Petra, you're taking the whole camera. Oh yeah, also, I have no idea where this mic is, but I thought today I would try vlogging without my mic because I've been pre- <laughs> I should just smack my arm because she wants me to stop vlogging. Petra, that's not nice. It's not nice. Anyway, I'm gonna try vlogging without my microphone today to see how the audio is without it because I've been trying to go back and forth with it, like face it to the direction where I am talking, but sometimes I forget. Like yesterday I forgot and the clip, like the audio was pretty bad because it was turned the other way. So I'm like, let me see how my my camera does. At least for vlogs without a microphone. Like if I do a sit down video, I could just easily put the mic on and turn it towards me. But for vlogging, it might be easier just to do no mic. But we'll we'll see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the audio. So today's entire vlog will be no mic. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, walk Petra go to the gym then after the gym i'm gonna do my big old self-care day i'm gonna exfoliate massage foam roll use my massage gun my trigger point ball red light therapy exfoliate my face face mask all of that fun stuff like a very physical self-care day i will see you guys in the kitchen
Tanner gave me the naughty cup this morning, so I guess he thinks I was being bad. Just walked Petra and I'm gonna drink this. It's time to start the ultimate self care day. I just went to the gym, didn't have the best workout, honestly. The gym I went, we have two gyms at the complex. The one that I like the treadmills at, they were taken when I got there, so I did like a little weight workout but I don't like to do weights in the morning or early day, you guys know that. And then I walked over to the other gym and the treadmills were up in there, but at that point I kind of had lost my like want to work out. So I ended up just doing like a really, I did a incline, I think I did incline at five or six, a speed two, and I walked for 30 minutes and I was just doing some work on my phone. It was okay. It was okay. Either way, I worked out, so that's good. And now it's time to start my self-care. I kind of ended up having an appointment today at 4, so I actually have to be done with everything by like 3. But I'm going to try not to rush and like still relax. And then I think another... Part of my self-care will be that will be the end of the video for today so I can edit it while he's in his appointment and then he has a dentist appointment and I'll edit it in the car and then I'll be like all done with filming and editing for today and tomorrow morning which would be amazing so let's get started first I'm going I'm gonna do like face and body not my hair since I just washed it yesterday. So first I'm gonna start by exfoliating my face so that, by exfoliating my face so that I can put on a face mask, then I'm gonna dry brush after. I'm gonna exfoliate with my Dermalogica Super Foliant. First I'm gonna wash my hands to make sure they're not crusty. Let me get a fresh hand out too. This is, let me close my door. If you guys don't know what this is, you can use it every day. I think it's kind of like a chemical to exfoliant. So you want to have a very wet hand, it says. I usually do this in the shower. And it comes out like a little powder. It comes out like a powder like this. And then you add a little bit more water to make kind of like a little paste thing like this. And it's a little gritty, but the grit part of it is not actually what exfoliates your face. It's like the ingredients in the product exfoliates your face. I don't know, I researched it a while ago, a long time ago. I've told you guys before, I've had that bottle for like over a year, which I think is worth it for the price because it is a more expensive product. But I've had it for so long and I, I mean, it says you can use it every day. I use it maybe like once a week. I love it. I really do. It's a good exfoliant. And if you don't know, you want to exfoliate your face about once a week to twice a week, I think, um, just to get that layer of dead skin off. So if you're ever like doing your makeup or you feel like your skin's kind of like flaky or feels gritty, if you exfoliate your skin, it's gonna leave your skin nice and soft and smooth underneath by getting all that dead skin off. And then you want to pat dry. By the way, one of my videos soon will, for Vlogmas will be my nighttime routine. So that will be fun. Okay. And I'm gonna put on this, how do you say claw? Caudalie? Caudalie? Is it caudalie? Caudalie? I forgot how you say this but the purifying mask. I grabbed the wrong one. I actually wanted to get the detox 
one. I'll link them both. But it smells really good. This is really the only mask I have right now. Oh, you know what? I also have this other blue mask that one of the estheticians at my old job gave me. I guess I'll have to do that next time. I haven't done a face mask in so long. There was like a good time where I was, good amount of time where I would do a face mask like every week. And now I have so much more time. I should do that more often. I should have put on my little skincare headband. I have two of these for <laughs> me and Gunner when we do face masks together. The point of it is to have your hair be pulled back. It's a little late for me. I already put my mask on, but oh, I guess it worked out. I should have taken my sweater off, but now I'm going to dry brush my skin. Here's the live edition of pictures my husband sends to me from work. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's a toad. <laughs> it was raining all day yesterday, so that's probably why. But you guys see what I'm saying? Like, I'm sitting here, relaxing, doing a self-care day, and then I just get a random video. That one wasn't jarring, but you know, sometimes it's him grabbing a snake by its head. And my adrenaline goes up because I'm like, what if that snake bites my husband? Oh, the other day, <laughs> he found a little, I think, kangaroo rat, and he picked it up, and he was sending me videos of it, and he was saying that he thinks he let the rat let him pick it up because it probably had eaten rat poison and was going to die soon, and then he was sad the whole rest of the day. So sweet. He was really sad. I'm like, I mean, that is kind of sad actually. He said he's always wanted to catch one of those, but they're so fast, so he knew that it was probably gonna die, otherwise he wouldn't have caught it. He wouldn't have caught it. Anyway, I'm gonna dry brush my whole body. I'm not gonna show you guys, obviously, but I will show you kind of what to do. I can really effectively dry brush. At the first spa that I worked at, we had a dry brush treatment where you would get a dry brush done to your body for 50 minutes. <laughs> and you can really like get some swelling to go down with that. So for that, I follow kind of the procedure that we would do there. And you want to focus on your lymphatic system your lymph nodes so you have lymph nodes so you have lymph node bundles we have lymph nodes everywhere but you have lymph node bundles on near your armpits on your neck like on your hips like this front area and like kind of like in the middle part of your body and you always want to dry brush going up towards your heart. So if you're doing your arms, you're gonna go from your hand up. You can do either a long stroke or you can do short strokes like that and kind of work. Imagine like you have some water underneath here, which you kind of do with your swelling, and you wanna kind of like push it up and up to your lymph node area. You can do circular motions on your knees and elbows. Oh my gosh, are my teeth yellow? They look really yellow. We're adding some white strips to the self care. You can see from like the little bit of dry brushing. Can you guys see how much more golden this arm looks? I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but in the mirror, there's like a glow happening here. It's my lymphatic system is simulated. You would start with, let me see here. You would start on your legs like this, right? And then come up from your calves and lower, lower legs. You could do your bum, uh, do your other leg. And then on your belly, you're gonna wanna go clockwise. So imagine an analog clock and then how it would be going clockwise is the way you want to do your belly circles. You don't wanna go 
the other way because you can make your stomach get constipated. So you want to go with your digestion. That's why you go clockwise. You always go clockwise. You can take it and go straight across in horizontal lines like that, but you don't want to go counterclockwise. You want to make sure you're always going clockwise. And then you can get like your hips, your, the side, your sides like that and push it down towards your hip to kind of get that swelling down there. And then on your chest, you'll go from the middle out to that lymphatic bundle right there. And you can do your neck down. And then you can really like get on your armpits and the bottom of your feet. I'm gonna do that dry brush on my whole body. And after I'm done dry brushing, oh, another tip actually, is you want to do it pretty lightly. So this is gonna exfoliate your skin also. So it's really nice, but you wanna do it lightly. The, the more, not like so light, but I mean, pretty light actually, yeah. Because the lighter you do it, the more it's gonna stimulate your lymphatic system because your lymphatic system is like right underneath the surface of your skin. So if you're pushing hard, you're now stimulating your muscle. So you want to keep it pretty light. So you really get that lymphatic drainage. And guys, I've, pra I've, <laughs> I've practiced this before and I've wanted to see like how effective it is. And like I did a really good dry brushing on myself and then I did a hot bath with Epsom salts to really like pull out any excess swelling in my body. And the next day I was two pounds lighter. Like it really can get some swelling down. Obviously not two pounds of like fat and weight, but it's just two pounds of swelling. So you can do this like once a week, twice a week, after you go out, after vacation, when you tend to be more swollen, um, when it's the, you know, the time of your period, if you're really stressed, um, if you lift weights a lot, your body gets inflamed. So it's really good to do um, then. So I'm gonna do my whole body. Can you see the difference? No. Okay, I'm gonna do my whole body and I'm gonna take a bath. I already have it ready with some Epsom salts. After that, I'm gonna do a little bit more things with my face, so I'll show you guys that too. Oh, really quick, I'm also gonna use this. I'm gonna use my like body paddle in the bath too. So it's you're still doing it to stimulate your lymphatic system. So kind of the same thing, you find the curvature that fits your extremity the best, and you're gonna go up towards your heart, kind of like you were doing with your uh, dry brush, but I like to do both. This one, I can like really feel sometimes the, the liquid going, going up, and then you, there's several different ones so you can really get everywhere. So, I'm gonna do both of those things um, clearly <laughs> off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I just took a bath and I washed off my mask and I also used in the shower my Foreo with the Kate Somerville Eradicate Cleanser. I have <laughs> my towel underneath my bathrobe. Now I'm gonna use my high frequency little device. I haven't used this in forever. But at the first spa that I worked at, every time I had acne or pimple, I would go ask my friend, she was an esthetician, to zap my pimples for me. This one comes with blue light and one with red light, so I'll show you guys. See, that one's red. That's good for anti-aging and wrinkles. And I think this one's blue. Yes, blue. So this one's more for pimples. Basically, from my understanding, all of the what it does is puts more oxygen into your skin. It just kind of helps smooth out the skin. And I'm trying to make sure my skin is pretty 
dry. I'm gonna go grab a tissue, I'll be right back. Guys, and I promise I cut her nails. Um, it just always sounds like that for some reason. Uh, but I do need to cut them soon. So the same esthetician, she would tell me to, she had these like little special tissues that would kind of just like stick on after you put it on. I don't have that. But apparently if you do like a little, <laughs> if you do a tissue, it increases the oxygen, which is the point of it, the facial. Let's see. Here, we'll do, we'll do it like this for the sake of the video. You don't want to do it too much. I'm getting some breakouts around my chin. If I had this when I had cystic acne, I would definitely have used it. It doesn't hurt. You can like kind of shock yourself though. Not like intensely. I'll show you guys all the little heads that come with this one. So that one's blue light. This one's also blue light and it comes with a little, so you can kind of see that. Oh, oh that one I felt. This one's so you can kind of zap a big pimple if you have one. You guys can see that, right? I don't have one around here. So I just want to zap it a couple times, just like that. If you want to use it for that, then it comes with a red one for your hair with a comb. And you can comb through. It does help with hair growth. My headband on, but you would just comb through it. Helps with hair growth. This one, I never have used, honestly. But it's for your neck, I think. It's a red light one. Just, my neck's a little wet, so it's sticking. I mean, ideally, I probably want to go up. Yeah, I think it's just for your neck. Okay. I like to use this attachment the most for the red light. I'll put my tissue over it. <laughs> like a luxury spa where they use these. So I'm assuming they do. I don't know if this, like, I got this on Amazon, which the esthetician she recommended I get this one. My friend that works there. Uh, she recommended I get this one. So I'm assuming it works too. I for sure know if you want like a professional facial. And they have like a professional device that was probably not purchased on Amazon. It for sure does something, but. I just got it because I like to be a little extra with my self care days, as you guys can tell. And it was like 70 bucks, which I'm sure if you got one facial with this, it'd probably be like close to 100. If you get your own, you can do it at home. Oof, there we go. I actually 
actually like this better <laughs> for my relax, relaxy day. Okay, now my skin's a little dry on my chin. What I'm gonna do now is, what time is it? Oh, I have to be ready soon. What do I wanna do? I'm gonna moisturize my body, cause I haven't done that yet. And I'm gonna use my Cetaphil moisturizing cream. And I'm basically, oh, I'm not gonna use this because it's basically empty. So I need to get another one of those, but I'll probably just mix this with some body oil. Or I can use my CeraVe. No, I don't wanna use that. Yeah, I'm gonna mix it with body oil and moisturize my body. I ended up having just enough of my Cetaphil cream left over. Okay, now I'm gonna do my red light therapy. It looks a little scary. I'm gonna put my blinds down to get nice and cozy. I also got this on Amazon. Put it on like this. And here is the controller. So you power on. You can set up the energy if you want and the time. I'm gonna do three for 20 minutes. First, while I do that, I'm going to put in some whitening strips because I feel like my teeth are yellow and I couldn't tell until I had that white mask on my face. So I'm gonna like purple up on this. I'm gonna use my whitening gel that you just brush with. This I got at Target it's by the brand Arc. I really, it's effective. I should use it more often. You use it after you brush, but I'm just gonna quickly brush with this before I use some crest white strips. <laughs> Fun fact, I used to sleep with white strips on when I was in high school because I was insane. But through that, I learned some tips. I can't remember which strips I used to use, but I used to use these ones that you could like drink water with supposedly. And they were, they would stick onto your teeth. Anyway, so you wanna put the bottom ones on first. And I, what I do is I dry my teeth as much as I can with a paper towel. Very relaxing. I should moisturize this RX, Close RX. You guys know this brand, right? Snail Mucin, moisturize. Um, CeraVe moisturizing lotion. I'm gonna let that sink in and then I'll apply some of the little bit I have left of the SkinCeuticals sunscreen. Um, gonna get dressed for my afternoon but I do think I'm gonna end off today's vlogmas here unless I do something super fun or festive later I'll add that but in case I don't thanks for hanging out with me today hopefully this inspires you to have an extra extravagant self-care day I feel so relaxed right now I'm really happy that I feel relaxed. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I wanted to foam roll. Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that anymore today. In case I do, I will add that. But if not, that's all right. I'm already relaxed, so it's okay. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow.